Hi everyone, I wanted to let you know that now you can get 14 days free trial in my online studio where you can come in and check it out, try out some of the videos, the different programs and the journeys that we have going on. If you're interested, you can just click the link below in the description and that's it. Soma also is very excited as you can see. <laughs>
yeah, that I, I wouldn't be able to function for the rest of the day. And I just kind of thought that that's, in a way, I thought that that's how it should be, but it's, it's also what I had thought I should be doing. So here are my questions. Um, first of all, I'll share that I, I realized at some point it was a fear pattern that I had, um, that the fear pattern was driving my practice to be really hardcore. It was kind of, I had a lot of pressure on myself to be practicing in that way and like every day. Um, so I looked at that and now my practice is totally different than it used to be. I'm a lot more relaxed. I don't, I don't, you know, strive so much for um, postures as much as I used to. And now it's much more about uh, they're like a feeling delicious at the end and kind of roasting my body on all sides. Um, so one question I would have, and, and I think desiring a phys like a very vigorous practice, I don't think there's anything wrong with that either. Um, I think sometimes we need that and it can be really beneficial even to the point of exhaustion. So let me say that also. But one thing is to inquire. So is there anything that drives you to want to have such an intense practice? Like if you really inquire behind the thoughts, like you ask yourself, okay, what is, what are, are there any shoulds? Am I thinking I should be practicing this intense or have I just gotten used to like that, that level of intensity? So if I kind of, it's kind of like becomes like an addiction <laughs> or you don't get it. Or if you don't feel like that level of exhaustion after, then you're like, no, that wasn't good. <laughs> So just to inquire a little bit into those, those things. Um, if you don't practice vigorously every day, or maybe you miss a day of vigorous practice, do you have any narratives that come up? Like, is, do you ever beat yourself up or, or something along those lines? Or what narratives come up? Um, and the third thing I would say is collect data. Um, so do an experiment where you're actually like gonna collect data. So say that you do uh, two less vigorous practices a week and, and really take note of how you feel after and throughout the day and into the next day and then do your vigorous practice and then take note. What you might find out if you have a rhythm of that is that actually you'll start to feel more energized just by adding two less vigorous practices but also you could find that, wow, I feel like so, so good after less vigorous practices, I'm gonna do more of those. Who knows what you'll find out, but collect data and take notes so that you really get to record that data for yourself. So have a journal um, because sometimes we have observations but then we forget them, so record them. 